Hi guys, I'm Chris G here. I hope everybody is doing well. I think it's Wednesday. The week is almost over. Um, I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes I have to check folks, you know. Yeah, so anyway guys, uh, we're doing, you know, we just love cabbage around here. And you know what? Let's do a lot of um, vegetable. Um, but today we're going to do, the thing about cabbage folks, a lot of people don't, like it because they say it's so bland but you have to know how to spice it up and make it you know taste good anyway um once in a while we like to do um some corn bead and cabbage and this one we're just going to do from the tin today um at time we do you know the corn um corn beef and uh, so we're going to do some corned beef and cabbage but you know we're gonna you know mix it up with some carrots some um some okra and our bell peppers and garlic and ginger and onion and green onion and it's time so it's gonna be good. The, the thing about corned beef, folks, you gotta make sure you get a good one when you're doing it, yeah, um, when you cook it, because there's some on the market, some cheap ones are the mar on the market. I find that all they do is load them with salt. And two of the best brand, um, I like what I do with most of like most thin things, I just buy them and keep them in the cupboard because as they tell us that they're gonna be a food shortage. Well, you know, we don't know if what we, 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 we put away gonna how long it's gonna last but so it's once in a while I use corned beef I, but I keep them just in case and their expiration date is pretty good you know um okay so these are the two best corned beef I find this one is um called Mario's and this one is done in France and this is done by this one especially is um you know the beef is raised just you know without any hormones or stuff like that and this one comes out of I think Brazil and it's our Erdford and it's one of the best one you know it's uh, this is from Brazil yeah and this is one of the best one but this one folks is top of the line and it's more expensive when you go to the store if you don't see it on sale it's normally all five something and this is called Mario's they, they also carry a lot of other product too but their corned beef is very good so that we're gonna use one of the two of that today so right now I have a little bit of um olive oil in the pot I'm gonna add a little piece of butter to it not gonna be a long and folks we're not gonna be having it with rice instead we're gonna have it with um some ground food um we did some yellow yam and um green banana so nobody want rice because sometimes folks you have to just you know just be you know take it easy with the rice and so we have our food here cooked already some yellow yam and green banana and we just just leave it there so so this is right now the cabbage we're gonna do it and folks use Bro, um, flat leaf cabbage and also folks when you go to look at cabbage um, tear the cabbage and make sure it's not plastic tearing because that's a lot of that going on around right now folks plastic cabbage it looks so real there's a couple of videos up there folks you have to go and watch those videos with um, the stuff that um, the Chinese are doing with the fake food and they are deadly and cabbage is on top of the line along with rice so when you buy cabbage you take a leaf and tear it and if you tear it and it looks like Fall apart like plastic do not buy because this is worldwide everywhere because I heard people that they buy it here and in the States not just in Jamaica or the, the Caribbean or Africa there's their product is going all over just like their um contaminant just like the garlic and all of that and I see down in Jamaica down in Jamaica where you should be planting your own garlic you're buying garlic that comes from that this place with sewage water that's why the garlic is so white folks because they have to bleach it um, because remember it's only about 20% of water they have going right now all of their water is contaminated so I'm just telling this to everybody nobody special check your cabbage when you buy it because that's one of the number one thing that's um, fake right now you know and you eat all of that plastic inside of your folks and if you see go up there and look on the film and see how these people do it you know and it's all for greed people all for greed killing off people it's amazing you you cannot tell the difference so the only time you can tell the difference when you go by to break off a leaf and pull it apart and you see pull like um, plastic so I just thought I passed that on to folks because um especially in my country they have next to no health system down there in the America not telling them that and all of these things people are consuming down there we keep telling them go back to the land and plant your stuff plant your stuff but you know Hopefully they would listen at some point, you know, because um, 
this is a very wicked thing these people are doing, especially with food. And it's not just even their own country they're selling it to people. And so when I was watching the video, they said the um the politician and all of them are prop no, so they don't eat that food, they plant their food specially. Right? Uh, so there you go. So obviously they have nothing against sending it out to, to um to get the sick people. So I'm just gonna have my onion and garlic right now. So people, this is it. And I know people might think I'm making a little speech, but I like when I'm cooking up. It's about food and health, and I pass things on to people. Yesterday, Carlos, Jamaican Carlos, have a, you know, and <laughs> it's just because people don't listen is, um, to what's going on, folks, is their own fault. Because everybody, he had a video out yesterday morning, and he in the red stripe, there, it's fake. They're faking every, you know, even our flag, you know, it's made over there, and they're putting it in the wrong color. You know, so... There you go. There and, and in some parts of India too. A lot of all the craft stuff, they send them to India and make them there because they control most of the craft um, in the tourist section now. They, they, they east the Indians. So, you know, Jamaica. Um, I don't know what to say, folks. Um, everybody is getting up and I'm taking a stand and you got to just sit right back. You know, the farmers in France are getting up. Um, this lady in Hungary the other day, and I think this was um, the most despicable thing I've ever seen. She, you know, you have a system like in America, uh, you pardon people. She pardoned this guy that uh, they had a daycare, and they were abusing all of these children. And she pardoned it, and when the people heard about it, they came out and make a stink. She had to resign, folks. She had to resign, you know. Because these people must be held uh, accountable, accountable for, um, you know, you have somebody who abuses kids and you're going to go pardon them to come out and, and probably continue to do the same thing. I also have some scotch bonnet here too, folks. I'm going to put my okra and the carrots and the tomato in right now. Like I said, guys, you can do carrots and it is so nice, you know, because I, a few people I know go there who won't touch it. They say all they can do with it is just boil it you know but no man cabbage can be done in a lot of lot of lot of beautiful ways you know i'm gonna have the bell peppers also when it's done folks you don't even think about me because it's gonna be so good and that's just my pot of the yam yellow yam and green banana we're gonna be having instead of rice so, folks, we are having a long weekend here this week, and the government at the provincial level, we have a day that they call on family day. And you just say, oh, with your kids, uh, I guess they figure that it's just like the same back in the slavery day, folks. <laughs> they give me a day of the plantation, you know. So, it's family day on Monday, folks. So, I get everybody will be in the store shopping, you know. Um, and the weather is so good, folks. I think maybe, hopefully, winter will be over soon. We hardly get any snow down in, in Ontario, that's why I love to live in Ontario. I know out west and places like that, they're like, you know, but we, we are lucky. So right now it's green outside and all we get is rain. So mind you, it still can come later, but it's better later than now, you know. So we're loving it. It's cold, yes, but it's no snow. And that I can, um, I prefer the cold without the snow. So I'm going to add in some thyme. And I like to just, and dry thyme folks, um, no matter what anybody say about green thyme, dry thyme has such a very nice um, flavor to it. Awesome. When I buy this thyme, I keep it in the fridge and I, it just starts to dry in the fridge. And then I just put it in my container. But the dry thyme is, is so awesome. So this is just sauteing right now. And I'm just gonna leave that for a few minutes, let the um, okra and the carrots just cook. Then I'll add the cabbage, because we want, the cabbage is gonna be crunchy on the crunchy side. So we're gonna leave that, let that cook down a few minutes. We have some scotch bonnet, no, nothing go to waste. We have about two of this, so we're just gonna throw in there. Um, you know, instead of um, 
go and uh, go with one. They're very expensive here, so I did a video yesterday on um, grocery store and, you know, so I don't know if people are going to mind, especially people with a lot of kids, folks, it's, it's rough. And everywhere I heard people talking about um, grocery prices, it's not just here. It is, it is rough, I, you know, um, everything is sky high and also our taxes from what I gather because a lot of migrants um, came in and they have no place to stay. So property cap tax is going to be raised up to 16.5%. So for all the homeowners, instead of the government cover these people who they bring in, it's going to be the homeowners and taxpayer going to be fitting that bill. So it's what it is, folks. It's what it is. So you just, like I said, just live your best life, folks, and don't stress out about anything, okay? So that's basically it, yeah. So I have two pieces of leftover pepper and I'm pretty sure this will do the trick. I'm just cutting them up, season all. I'm just adding them to the pot right now. And I'm gonna what I like to do, I always like to when we put in the cabbage and the turn up everything. So I'm gonna take out some of the um and then add the cabbage in, then I add this back on top of the cabbage. So most of you're trying to um, turn it around with the cabbage and um, you don't have a good result. Yeah, so I'm just going to throw a little water from the, this cabbage don't make water, uh, a lot of water, which I love about it. Put a little water from the food pot in it. See, because we have the okra going right now, so um, the okra will thicken it up, so add a little bit of water. And that is so good from your, um, your food, your ground provision pot, folks. So I'm just going to have the cabbage in. And like I said, the cabbage doesn't take a long time to cook. I'll start turning it over like that. See, it makes it easier to flip it over like that. Uh, we awesomely love cabbage around here, folks. We might cook cabbage about several times for the month because cabbage is such a versatile um, veggie and it's so good for you and this is a popular one even when I was back home corn beef, corn beef and cabbage okay and this is just gonna be cooking to us extent that it's still crunchy and believe in me guys it tastes good it tastes good crunchy being crunchy when it's soft and soggy not saying anything so that's the cabbage going and I'm just going to put all of the vegetable back over it right now so it will just all that flavor will just come right down into it normally I just mix it up but it's a lot of cabbage even though the cabbage is going to shrink when it gets down there okay this point I'm just going to add a little bit of basil and just let it the herbs just steam down in the cabbage a little bit oh, that about a teaspoon of basil oregano a bit of oregano and these are very good herbs for car and, and caraway seed folks is one of the best um uh, um herbs to use in um cabbage it's called car i ran out i don't have any right now which next time i'll show you what it look like caraway seeds we're gonna add a little lemon black pepper also that is so good and you can make this yourself and you know that it's all clean you make it yourself and i'm gonna just go strictly with my her, um, dry herbs today and all of these herbs i make them myself folks so and this is parsley right now a little bit of dry parsley all of these herbs are so easy to make and so um There is um, garlic in there already. It's gonna put everything right in and it just steam now. And this is a little bit of vegetable um, spices here. And I put about a tablespoon. Because remember the, the, the corned beef is very salt folks. So um, if you're watching your sodium intake, you have to be very careful. And I'm just gonna also add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper helps to boost the 
we boost your metabolism so speed it up because that's 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 one of the way we we um gain um weight because we have a slow metabolism so cayenne pepper boosts the immune system with garlic so those are two good um so folks i'm just gonna give it a little bit of turn i'm not gonna cover it because um i don't want it make a lot of water so i'm just gonna leave it at this rate let it just then i'll put the um corned beef in afterwards big up yourself india i'm um, getting a lot of support from there um indonesia big up yourself canada as usual that's my top support why, why wouldn't it be and america america is right behind so big up yourself guys thanks for all the support And I see a few African um, countries on there. So big up Mama Africa, okay? So folks, I'm just gonna let that steam open. I'm not gonna close it, just let it open and steam. Then I'll just had, it's a short video folks, and I'm just gonna add the, um, the corned beef. And I'm not gonna add no other um anything with any salt in it. That's enough right there. And I'm just gonna add the corned beef and this is one tin of Mario's corned beef on top. And at this point I'll just let it cover it for a little bit. And I shall return, okay? Okay, guys, the boat is landed and it's done. Look at that. You see? No water. Because this is cabbage, don't produce a lot of water. And when you put your okras in, the okra also help to um, pull out a lot of the moisture that really make your cabbage soggy. And a lot of people don't want to heat it at that point. <laughs> you know, so like I said, folks, cabbage. It's one of the most versatile vegetables and you can do so much with it. I'm just picking out the, um, they, they done, this have done its work. So I'm just picking out the thyme stick. And cabbage looking like this folks and tasting like this, you're going to want to heat it. So we have here our yam and, um, probably see the banana. So we're just going to plate it now, the corned beef. Okay. And like I said, this is most famous with the corned beef and white rice, but we didn't want any rice today. Um, because on the weekend, I think, we, you know, you're going to have a lot of their rice and peas and all of that because it's a long weekend. So everybody going to be cooking up a storm. So right now it's just, um, see, almost no moisture. Just, yeah, you know, for your arm. Um, so this is our corned beef and cabbage right here, folks. Um, and once you finish, well, especially with the electric stove, remove it, your pot, especially because it continues to eat up. And so, they, and don't cover down the cabbage right now, okay? Because it will make more moisture. Just leave it on a cold, um, um, you know, take it off of the, the, the heat because these electric stove, they stay hot for quite a long time. So folks, um, that's corned beef and cabbage there with some yellow yam and um some green banana and folks um you can use as much green banana because green banana adds in the good starch resource starch which is so good for you so green banana is to be one of the top of your we call it ground food or whatever ground food reason. but so you could eat the green banana as much as in much better than much better than um <coughs> excuse me the pepper the rice folks so if you love your green banana feel free to eat as much as you want because that's resource starch it just do its work and it leaves the body like um it's like fiber it doesn't stay in the body and build up to um and build up into um star arms um, build up into starch which will come down to sugar you know and that's how we get um diabetes so folks um this is our dinner here today, corned beef and cabbage, and some yellow yam. Folks, so 
guys please like share and subscribe to the channel and big up everybody okay have yourself a wonderful the rest of the day it's what um after six where i'm at already so folks um marie big up yourself you and melody you can big up yourself and again go over to fire folks and show fire some love and go over to dj's wicked and oriented channel also they're in my private my parish in st thomas they, what did i say they are the capital of the world you're yeah, right <laughs> anyway folks um empress gc you know please like share and subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up if you so feel like and all my other subscribers Ivelyn, um so many and um noreen big up yourself noreen is over in england i didn't realize that till i saw something so big up yourself england all right peace